I'm Kelly Steele. I'm here at Cody's Gastro Garage Restaurant in Garden City, Utah. And I am a children's author and write children's books. This is the Bear Lake, The Legend Continues. It's my second Bear Lake book that I've written. And this is about the sea monster. I show the back and then there's my picture on there. Um, this is the sea monster that lives in Bear Lake. Now I had a girl tell me that I should write this sequel, so I did. And this one's about Chief Pocatello, who the lake is actually named for, or I, the lake. Pocatello, the town of Pocatello is named for Chief Pocatello. So the Indian braves that live around the lake are worried because they see a sea monster out in the lake and they're telling Chief Pocatello about the sea monster. So Chief Pocatello summons his fiercest warrior. The warrior's rumored that he can hold his breath all day till night. And he tells this warrior, I want you to swim down to the bottom of Bear Lake, find where the monster's lair is. So we saw is his name we saw dives into bear lake right here and he's swimming down 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 and you can see here's bear lake up here where he dove in he swims down 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 and then when you turn the book upside down he's surfacing in scotland and there's nessie the loch ness monster right there to the side now i am a children's author and i have written the book about Bear Lake and the monster that lives in Bear Lake because I love Bear Lake and I come down here every summer two or three times a summer and I found the monster of Bear Lake to be very intriguing and it made for a very good story and the kids actually love this. Monster? Um, you know it would be really cool if, if he was real um, and I, I was thinking of this the other night because I was out here jet ski and we bring jet skis up here every year and it was clear over on the east side of the lake that's where it's the deepest and I was I don't know probably almost halfway out and mid fourth of the way out away from the bank the shore and so there shouldn't have been anything there it's very very deep there and I'm just cruising along on my jet ski. All of a sudden I hit something and the front end of the jet ski comes out and I look, I'm going, holy crap, what am I running over? And it, there was a big gray thing stretching out across there. And I thought, is that a cement wall? Because the boat just came up out of the water. It was almost like a jump, but it was in the deep, deep part of the water. And I thought, well, that's, if that's the cement wall, it's gonna tear the bottom of my boat all to pieces. So when I loaded up the boat, I looked under it, it was nothing, nothing on the boat at all. It didn't scratch, it didn't do anything. So I thought, well, that would be really cool if like that was the back of the Bear Lake monster. It was just kind of in the water high enough that I ran over the top of him. And that, that would be really cool. I don't know if it was, know but what it was? I have no idea what it was. How, how far I, in the water were you? Like I, I think I was, oh, probably three, four hundred yards at least, you know, probably a good uh, half a mile, three quarters of a mile out this way into the lake. And like I said, it's the deepest part of the lake, so what would be out there yeah you know that far yeah that is weird that, yeah and it was a dark gray color. yeah it was you know it's almost like a, um cement color because it had like it looked like little splotches huh. you know along it and it was gray and it was just big long and gray but i would have thought that if it was cement it would have tore the bottom of my boat up my jet ski and like I said, when I loaded the jet ski, there was no marks on it. Huh. Yeah, and I've never seen anything like that since. Wow. And I have a friend who is a Shoshone Indian. His grandfather was Chief Tendoy of the Shoshone Lemhi Shoshone Indians. And he 
tells me that these books are true. And when I go to the school, I have a, there's an Indian gentleman that teaches, um, I think it's the fifth grade class, and he tells all the kids, he says, you kids listen to him because those are true stories. Huh. And I'm thinking, well, he must know something that I don't because if I'm reading about the Bear Lake Monster and the Indians, and I know the Indians, that part is true, and he's telling the kids that this is true about the monster. You know, he must know something. Um, you know, I think probably the intriguing thing to me about the Bear Lake Monster is it's kind of a mystery. You know, I mean, everybody's heard of him. There's like grainy pictures that that might be the monster. There's people that have lived here in Bear Lake for, you know, a hundred years. I've seen interviews on, when I was looking up information, I'd see things on the internet about a 98 year old lady that lives down in Fish Haven that she's right on the lake and she swears she's seen the monster. So it's kind of like there's this this story that I've written about Bigfoot. You know, there's a lot of people that swear he's real. There's people that swear they've seen him. They have, you know, cast footprints of Bigfoot. Well, there's a lot of people that also don't believe it and haven't seen him and they're like well if he's really real you know I want to see proof that's the same way with the Bear Lake monster people say well you know if it's really real I want to see proof that he's there I want to see it to know for sure but the thing is how's everybody gonna see it you know and why don't they have better pictures of Sasquatch you know, why is the main thing you ever see about Sasquatch, that 1978 movie where you see him walking through the trees and he looks and then he keeps going. That's pretty much the main thing that you ever see about Bigfoot, but yet everybody talks about it and everybody says it's real. So I think it's just the, the um, mystery that makes it intriguing. Yeah. So we're here at Cody's in Garden City, Utah, talking about my Bear Lake books that I've written. We're here at Cody's Gastro Garage. It's a restaurant in Garden City, Utah. Uh, when I married my wife, she brought me down here and I just fell in love with the place. It is so gorgeous down here, it's beautiful. So we come down here about three times every summer. And so they had these like fake Photoshop pictures on the internet of different things. And I found all this, these pictures, I guess, about the Bear Lake monster. And there was one where they showed this big silver, looked like a giant fish, you know, on the beach that had washed up. And so I read about that and come to found out, find out that that was a hoax. You know, it wasn't like really real.